Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to Go Math Lesson 10.1, Customary Length. Pause while you write Lesson 10.1, Customary Length, in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is compare, contrast, and convert customary units of length. Let's unlock the problem. To build a new swing, Mr. Madsen needs 9 feet of rope for each side of the swing and 6 more feet for the monkey bar. The hardware store sells rope by the yard. The first question asks us, how many feet of rope does Mr. Madsen need for the swing? Well, we just read that Mr. Madsen needs 9 feet of rope for each side. So these two sides equal 9 feet. So 9 plus... 9 equals 18 feet. The second question asks, how many feet does Mr. Matson need for the swing and the monkey bar combined? So we know that we need 18 feet for the swing plus 6 more feet for the monkey bars. 18 plus 6 equals 24 feet. Now we know that Mr. Matson needs 24 feet of rope, but the hardware store only sells rope by the yard. So we need to find out how many yards are in 24 feet. And we will do this by finding how many groups of three, how many groups of three feet are in 24 feet. So if we look at our diagram that we have here, the yellow boxes, we have one foot, two feet, and three feet for every one yard. So I'm going to write a three down here. Three feet equals one yard. So since we know we need 24 feet, and every three feet equals one yard, we're going to use a bar model to find the total number of yards that Mr. Matson needs. So if we look down at our bar model at the bottom of the page, we see that we need a total of 24 feet, which is down here. And we need to find out how many groups of three that 24 can be divided into. So if we do 24 divided by 3, we get 8. So let's look over at the record, and we'll write our equation. Our total feet was 24 feet in 1 yard, 3. So our total yards was 8. So Mr. Madsen needs to buy 8 yards of rope. Moving on to example one. Your first job is to pause the video and take a moment to write down this customary units of length box. Our example says the distance between the new high school and the football field is two miles. How does this distance compare to 10,000 feet? Another important piece of information that you need to think about is this sentence right here. It says when you convert larger units to smaller units, you need to multiply. So step one, convert two miles to feet. Think one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So if we're converting two miles, a larger unit, to feet, a smaller unit, then we need to multiply the total number of miles by 5,280. So let's move over and it says total miles 2, which we see up here 
2 miles times feet in 1 mile we found was 5,280 feet. So when we do the math, we get 2 times 5,280 equals 10,560. 2 miles equals 10,560. Step two, compare. Okay, so we're comparing these now. So our answer was 10,560 feet is greater than 10,000 feet. Since 560 is greater then 10,000, the distance between the new high school and the football field, is longer than 10,000 feet. Be sure to go back to your teacher's webpage and complete the exit slip. Be sure you are able to write the lesson objective in the form of an ICANN statement and be sure you understand the lesson. Thank you. We'll see you in class tomorrow.